And now to this K Street comeback more than a year after that deadly mass shooting. A prominent downtown club, Sacramento, forced to close in the aftermath of the mass shooting, is now allowed to reopen with new conditions. CBS 13's Steve Large joining us now live from downtown with the city agreement and the impact it could have on nightlife. Steve. And this is the business that we're talking about. It is called London Doors Closed. Eight months ago, the city forced the owners to do that. That is back in November. The owners say they feel like they were targeted after the K Street shooting. Coming soon, the Sacramento nightclub London now has a new name and will reopen next month following a settlement with the city, which had denied their entertainment permit. They weren't involved in the K Street shooting. But the, the fact of the matter is it created a, a, a milieu where everybody is, you know, tainted with this with this event. Attorney Jeff Kravitz represents London and other downtown clubs he describes as under increased scrutiny since the K Street shooting. London is located within what had been the K Street mass shooting crime scene. I think they were unfairly lumped in with events that they had no control over and that were not responsible for. Kravitz calls Sacramento's enforcement of entertainment permits time consuming. City stats show 36 venues are operating with current permits. 24 venues are operating as they wait for approval of renewals. The mass shooting that police describe as gang related left six dead and 12 others injured at closing time in downtown Sacramento. I woke up to all the gunshots and it sounded like thunder. Keith Avila lives and works on K Street. He says London's reopening will bring more nightlife downtown. On one hand, there is good people, but then on the other hand, there's those few people that just ruin it. Pros and cons to it. There, there, there is. A new beginning for this business battling back from the K Street shooting. The idea that because you're a bar somehow, oh, you've endorsed that illegal behavior, that makes no sense. A return to the downtown scene after they say the city sidelined them. And as part of the settlement, the owners say that their security will now be responsible for patrolling outside their business as well on the sidewalks right here uh, after closing time. By the way, the name of the new club will be Chelsea, and they are expecting to open next month.